Donald Trump's first interview after being federally indicted for violating the Espionage Act and conspiring to obstruct justice went terribly. Please, please, could we have it back? And they please, asked for that. Because they have no... We they were did talking. ask for it. No. And they said, I gave can you give some, the documents back? And we were talking. And then they said they went to DOJ to subpoena you to get them Which back. they've never done before. Right. And, and but why fairness, not just hand them over then? Because I had boxes. I want to go through the boxes and get all my personal things out. I don't want to hand that over to Nara yet. And I was very busy, as you've sort of seen. Yeah, but I've according very, to the indictment, busy. you then tell this aide to move to other locations after telling your lawyers to say you'd fully complied with the subpoena when you hadn't. But before I send boxes over, I have to take all of my things out. These boxes were interspersed with all sorts of things, uh, golf shirts, clothing, pants, shoes. There were many things. Oh, I would say Warpland? much, much more, not that I know of, but not that I know of, but everything was declassified. And Biden didn't have the right to do that because he wasn't president. Nor did Mike Pence, by the way, have the right to do that because he wasn't president. Right, I'm not gonna... So that was Donald Trump essentially confessing to being asked to return the documents that he had, but then also in the same sentence somehow denying it, which is just exceptional for Donald Trump. Uh, and then he also confesses that he had documents and that he moved them after saying that he had fully complied with the subpoena. Uh, and he moved them because he had uh, golf shirts, pants, and shoes in the boxes with classified documents, which is just the craziest <laughs> excuse for moving documents and lying to the federal government who's trying to protect classified information. And then I don't know if you caught it, but Brett Baer there uh, slipped in, you know, and those boxes also had the Iran war plan and Donald Trump. He, he of course, kind of does his his signature tell where he like he can't look you in the face when he's lying. And he just looks off and says, oh, not that I know of. Hmm. Just totally breaks eye contact with Brett Baer and just kind of pleads the fifth, which is really interesting because. You know, Donald Trump is going to be on trial where once he tries to, like, plead the fifth, it's just going to scream his guilt uh, in all of this. And if he chooses to lie, then that's going to come back to haunt him because he will be uh, punished for that in the court of law. And it's really funny how Donald Trump says uh, he's he's so busy. Uh, that's why he couldn't return uh, the documents and the boxes because he's so busy. Donald Trump plays golf nearly every single day. And if you've ever played golf, it takes hours to finish a round. Donald Trump is just a complete buffoon and loser here in this interview. This went so bad for him. And then, of course, when he... He gets kind of backed into a corner. He just he 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 throws out the what about isms, right? Oh, what about what about Bill Clinton? What about Joe Biden? What about Mike Pence? Which is like nothing. <laughs> those those you know document cases uh, are are totally uh, you know different than what happened to Donald Trump because when those people were asked to return those documents, Pence Biden, they did it right away. No qualms, no problems, no. No refusals, no, well, you know, I want to get my golf shirts. And then we get into the part of the interview where Brett Baer talks about Donald Trump being taped, talking about having documents and showing them to people. I don't want to dwell on it, but according to the indictment, you were here at Bedminster on July 21st, 2021, after you're no longer president, and you were recorded saying that you had a document detailing a plan of attack on another country that was prepared by the U.S. military for you when you were president. The Iran attack plan. You remember that? Ready? You were recorded. It wasn't a document. Okay. I had lots of paper. I had copies of newspaper articles. I had copies of magazines. I know. This I is specifically a quote. You're quoted and, on the recording know, and, saying the document was secret, adding that you could have declassified it while you were president, but quote, now I can't. You know this is still secret, highly confidential. And the indictment cites the recording and the testimony from people in the room saying you showed it to people there that day. So you say on this on sure. tape. It says just the opposite. That you can't and, declassify. And so you, why have it? What I said, when I said that I couldn't declassify it now, that's because I wasn't president. I, I never made any bones about that. When I'm not president, I can't declassify it. And that's what you said. You didn't I said declassify that. it. I, I said, no, no. 
I said I couldn't do could that. That wasn't a document, Brett. There was no document. That was a massive amount of papers and everything else talking about Iran and other things. And it may have been held up or may not, but that was not a document. I didn't have a document per se. There was nothing to declassify. These were newspaper stories, magazine stories, and articles. I'm just saying what the indictment says. Well, they, the recording people, and the look, people in the room who these testified. These people are very dishonest people. They're thugs. They're thugs. If you look at what they've done, to other people, what they've done to, and overturned in the U.S. Supreme Court. These are thugs. These the are suggestion was people. that you wanted this as evidence that the military, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, General Milley, had preemptively sent you plans for a possible attack on Iran and that you didn't order that to happen. That's the suggestion. I never ordered it to happen, no. But no. that's why you wanted the document. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a document from Milley. Milley, frankly, was incompetent. The last one I'd want to attack with as my leader would be Milley. That I can tell you. All right, last you thing know. on this. Now, that clip is really unbelievable because you have Brett Baer saying, you know, Donald, you're, you're on tape. You have been recorded talking about classified documents, the Iran war plan. You were on tape showing it to people. And those people in the room have testified that you showed it to them. And what does Donald Trump do? Oh, no, 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 no. It, that didn't happen. No, no, no. The, it, it wasn't uh, It wasn't the classified document. No, no, no. It was newspapers and magazine articles. Okay. Donald, they, they testified that you showed them a classified document. Oh, well, you know, all these people are thugs. <laughs> uh, just unbelievable here unbelievable how screwed Donald Trump is. If this is indicative of how the trial is going to go, oh, it is going to be a nightmare for Donald Trump. And finally, in this last clip, we have Brett Baer confronting Donald Trump with the classic line of his that he only hires the best people. In 2016, you said that. I'm going to surround myself with only the best and most serious people. Well, I did do that. This and we time, had tremendous look. We had the best economy we've ever had. The this world time, has ever seen. Your vice president, Mike Pence, is running against you. Yeah. Your ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, she's running against you. Your former secretary of state, Mike Pompeo, said he's not supporting you. You mentioned national security advisor, John Bolton. He's not supporting you either. You mentioned Attorney General Bill Barr. Uh, says you shouldn't be president again. Uh, calls you the consummate narcissist and troubled man. You recently called and uh, Barr a, a gutless pig. Uh, you're second defense secretary is not supporting you, called you irresponsible. This week, you and your White House called your White House chief of staff, John Kelly, weak and ineffective and born with a very small brain. You called your acting White House chief of staff, Mick Mulvaney, a born loser. You called your first secretary of state, Rex Tillerson, dumb as a rock. And your first defense secretary, James Mattis, the world's most overrated general. You called your White House press secretary, Kayla Kennedy, milk toast. And multiple times, you've referred to your transportation secretary, Elaine Chao, as Mitch McConnell's China loving wife. So why did you hire all of them in the first place? Because I hired 10 to 1 that were fantastic. We had a great economy. We had phenomenal people in charge of the economy. We had phenomenal people in the military. I'm not a fan of Millie, and I'm not a fan of certain of the television people. But I knocked out ISIS. I defeated ISIS. They said, Mattis, it would take three years, and I don't think we can do it. I did it in a period of, like, four weeks. There's a lot of people not, who praise you for your policies. I just said true. that. That's true. Well, I mean, you just went through a list. But don't forget, for every one you say, I had 10 that love us. Now, that clip really had nothing to do with the indictment, but it really was just kind of the cherry on top uh, for this interview because Brett Baer uses Donald Trump's own words and the words of the people who Donald Trump claimed at one time are the best people uh, to really highlight just how much of a, a schoolyard bully he is, how racist he is, how uh, people who got to see him uh, in action uh, as president of the United States don't want him to be president again and don't trust him. So a train wreck interview for Donald Trump here. Just com a complete train wreck. And if anything, it's just going to uh, – it shows us just how – uh, bad of a position he's in, uh, in, in this trial and, and with this indictment. So, uh, if you like the video, 
please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe. Or if you're on Facebook, be sure to follow uh, the channel here uh, so you get videos in your feed for Reflect. Uh, my name is Brendan Plank, and I'll see you in the next video.